Hello everyone, this is Blender Guppy. Welcome to the tutorial video for the Panel Cutter add-on. Before we head on towards its functionality, let's see how we can install it to Blender first. Press the F4 hotkey in the 3D viewport and click on Preferences. Go to the add-on section and click on the install button. Search for the .py file you have extracted from the zip file you get from the store, then use the install button on that. I have already installed it on mine, so let's go on to the next step. Use the search bar to search for the add-on. Once found, click the checkbox to activate it. You can then find the add-on operator button in the W specials menu in object mode by pressing the W hotkey, or in edit mode using the same menu and hotkey. Now let's start with the add-on. Basically, what it needs in order to work are marked sharp edges. You then select faces that includes these edges, and by using a panel cut operator, a new object will be created with the panel cut details generated from the marked sharp edges. If the source object is using a mirror modifier, using the plugin will copy this modifier to the resulting panel cut object and only the mirror modifier. The rest of the modifier types are ignored. To make the add on more intuitive, it can work both in edit and object mode using the same W hotkey to show the similarly named W specials menu. Vertices from the resulting panel cut object will also be assigned to a vertex group called panel cut faces, particularly vertices that form the top faces of the panels. You can use the Ctrl I hat key to invert the selection and select the panel cut faces instead. This is useful for material assignments and efforts to UV. Now let's go over the different redo properties before I show you a practical demonstration of the add-on. First, we have the clear inner faces. Selecting none will give you the default result. Inner will delete the top faces, leaving only the panel cut faces intact, and outer will keep only the top faces and delete the panel cut faces instead. We have the thickness which determines the size or width of the panel cut detail, the depth property which determines the height of the panel cut faces, the margin property which lets you modify the spacing between the panel cut islands. We have the height property whose strength can be set using a minimum and maximum value. This is additive to the depth value, meaning the height will be added to whatever depth you have set. You can play around with the seed property to randomize the height of each panel cut islands. The material index property lets you decide what material from the source mesh to copy to the panel object. Negative 1 means that the active material in the source mesh will be copied over. 0 means the first material in the material stack of the source mesh will be copied. 1 means the second material, and so on. Finally, we have the toggles. Using the clear sharp toggle will remove or clear the mark sharp status of the edges in the source mesh. Do this only if you are sure that you don't need the sharp status of these edges anymore. Using the merge panel will let you merge or join the panel cut object to the source mesh as one single object with the vertices in each boundaries welded together. The vertex group system is used here as well, but will only work for each operation and the last one will be cleared. The material assignment system will also be ignored and will only work if you're not using merge. And lastly, merging will not work if you increase the margin property past zero, but will work for everything else even if you're using the clear faces options. Now let's go ahead and model something simple. I'm just going to use a mirrored cube to demonstrate the actions I usually do when modeling with the panel cutter add-on. A great thing about this is that you can use quad topology and even keep it in the resulting panel cut object. In edit mode, to mark selected edges as sharp, use the Ctrl E hotkey to bring up the edge specials menu and click on the mark sharp operator button. Alternatively, you can clear the mark sharp status of these edges using the clear sharp operator button below it. Here, I'm using the Ctrl R hotkey to add edge loops while designing the mark sharp pattern for the panel cut details. You can also use the knife using the K hotkey to make these edges, especially the angled ones. Thank you. 
The only thing you have to make sure when marking these edges is that they have to be contiguous, meaning that they should be touching each other and not come to an abrupt stop. This is to avoid pinching because the line is not complete or is not touching a selection border or an edge that's also marked sharp. When selecting faces, make sure that the marked sharp edges are touching the border selection to avoid errors or pinching in the resulting geometry. I sometimes use the add-on with merge panel off to preview the result of the marked sharp edges. Then just undo or delete the result and continue modeling the source mesh. Continue adding edge loops if you need marked sharp edges in particular areas. You can just repair or economize the topology later on. Enclosed edges that are marked sharp can also be used as long as they form a complete island. When using the add-on with Merge Panel Off, the resulting geometry will have the panel islands separated, which lets you select each individual island easily using the L hat key by hovering the mouse on a particular face. You can also use the vertex group system to quickly select the top faces or panel cut faces of the resulting panel cut details. The resulting geometry can also be used for panel cut details again using the add-on. This is called layering or stacking the panel cut effects. Just be sure to select the bigger faces as modifying the width of the panel cuts may prove to be too much for smaller faces. After getting the panel cut object as a result, you can choose to design this further with other tools at your disposal. You can decide to either use the add-on to create a base or add to the design of an already detailed model. Remember to select all the vertices using the A hat key in edit mode, then using the Control M hat key and using distance to merge the islands together. This is only true if you're not using the merge panel toggle. This add-on still has heavy development ahead, so some of these functionalities may change in the future. For receiving the free updates, an email will be sent to you notifying you that the files in the stores has been updated. Then all you have to do is go to the store you have bought the add-on, and in the product page, download the updated files. And this is it for this tutorial video. If you have any questions, use the comment section below or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.